Hi everyone and welcome to this Polar Yoga session. My name is Orshi and I'm going to be your host today. I'm a yoga teacher learned at Yoga Synergy and I'm teaching classes on a regular basis. Um, with today's flowing yoga session, we will focus on boosting our immune system by promoting blood flow, calming the nervous system and increasing mobility and strength. We'll emphasize three things fluid movement, natural breathing, and spinal mobility. This practice is suitable for anyone, so if you have no yoga background, you're very, very welcome. It's a great start for you. And if you're a practitioner already, you're also very welcome to join. First, we will arrive with some nice and gentle circular motions. Then we continue. We have some warm up with some salutations. Then we stay standing for some flowing asanas. We will strengthen the core a little bit. We will twist and then we finish everything with, with the same circular motions, just how we started it. So if you're wearing a polar watch, you can pull it out now. Look for start training and uh, go for yoga or other indoor if you don't have that. Just one practicality. I would like you to face your mat towards me. So have the short side of the mat facing me and then you can come to the front of your mat. Right. So when you think you're ready, come and sit down with me. Come into an easy cross-legged position. Sit on your sitting bones. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and then bring the hands in front of you. Open them sideways, flex your wrists, now round your back, bring the back of your palms together, soften the fingers, lift them all the way up, open sideways, and now bring your elbows closer together, turn the hands out and repeat. So round your back, roll up through your spine, Open the arms, bring your elbows in and close. Push your hands back and the last time. Inhale when you lift up and open and exhale as you bring the elbows close and you close the circle. Put your hands down. Now come stand up. Come to the front of your mat and lift your feet a few times. Now have a comfortable position, a comfortable standing posture. Soften your knees, lengthen the lower back and roll your shoulders back. Soften the belly, soften your face and just breathe naturally. Lift your shoulders up, push them back, down and forwards. And now make a small circle out of this. Circling your shoulders backwards, gently. Soften the fingers, soften everything you don't need. You can stay with the small motions or maybe increase and incorporate your back and your chest a little more. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. If you still want to advance, you can bend your knees more and increase the circular motion all the way down and then up. Energy moves in circles. So that is why we're incorporating some circular motions into the practice. Breathe in and out. Come one more time and slowly rise up, push your shoulders down. Come to the front of your mats. We now continue with some salutations. You can put your feet together or hip width apart, whatever is comfortable for you. Bend your knees, lengthen the lower back, roll your shoulders back. And now roll your hands up through your midline. All the way up, spread your fingers. Bring your shoulders to your ears. Keep your, your spine long. Bend your knees a little more. And as you exhale, fall forward. 
Bend your knees as much as you need to in order to put your hands down to the floor. Push the palms down and look behind you. Inhale, lift your neck, bend your knees a little more, look up. And now exhale, look down and in between again. Inhale, look up. And exhale, look down to the floor. Now lift your right leg up and hold it up in the air behind you. Keep holding. Bend your front knee. And now gently, quietly touch down into a lunge. Here you have the option to drop the knee or keep it lifted or keep it long. Check that your front knee is above your ankle. And now hold. Push your palms down to the floor and round your back. Hips down. And inhale, lift your head, lift your neck, lift your chest. Look up. Exhale, round and push down. Inhale, lift and look up. Good. Now hands down again and step back to a downward facing dog. So spread your fingers wide, maybe bend your knees a little bit, lengthen your back, bring your shoulders close to your ears, and now slowly roll forwards into a plank position, vertebrae by vertebrae, little by little, drop your knees, turn your elbows in, strengthen the back, Keep the elbows really close to you and as slow as you can, bring your chest forwards with your hands into a halfway push-up. Try to hold and then touch down. Rest your toes. Shoulders roll back and down and lift your chest into a cobra. Tuck your toes. Push back to your knees. Back to downward dog. Hold your dog shape. Lift your right leg and swing it in between your hands to the front of the mat. Option to drop the back knee or keep it lifted. Make sure your hips are low. Lift your right arm up into a small twist. Open your top shoulder, spread your fingers, maybe look all the way up. And as you exhale, bring the hand down Bend the back knee and step in to forward fold. Look in between your knees. Inhale, look up. Bring the hands all the way up through your midline and then down next to you. Round two. Bend your knees. Lengthen the lower back. Inhale through your nose, rise up. Lift a little higher. Spread the fingers a little more and exhale, fall forwards. Again, knees can be bent. Push the palms down. Activate your upper back. Inhale and look up. Soften the knees even more. Come and round, look behind. Inhale up. And with the next exhalation, just look down to the floor. Lift your left leg up and hold it, up, hold it up in the air. Keep your front knee bent and gently touch down into the lunge. It's a low lunge. Option, drop the knee or keep it up. Keep the hips low, knee over ankle. Put the palms down, push your palms really to the floor and round your back. Inhale, look up. Maybe come up to your fingertips. Spinal mobility. Round again. And lift up with the head and the chest. Look down to the floor and step back to downward dog. Find your dog shape. So here, bring your shoulders closer to your ears. Lengthen your lower back. Soften the belly. And I slowly roll forward into the plank. Push your palms to the floor. Option to drop the knees or keep them lifted. Elbows in and really close to you. 
come lower down to your halfway push up, hold as much as you can, and then touch down. Rest your toes, shoulders down and back, up to the cobra, or all the way to up dog. If you're here, lift your thighs, shoulders back, and maybe look up. Rolling through your toes, back to downward dog. Keep your hips lifted. Now bend your knees. Left leg swings forward. Touches down in between your hands. Lunge. Option to drop or keep the knee lifted, the back knee lifted. Right hand on the floor and the left opens up to the twist. Reach up all the way to the ceiling. Create some space. And then exhale, bring the hand down. Bend the back knee and step in, forward fold. Hands down and look in between your knees behind you. Inhale, bend the knees more and lift your head. And then rise all the way up to standing with the hands up. And then land them next to you. Exhale. All right. Moving on, standing and flowing asanas. Come to the front of your mat. Slowly lift your right leg and put the hands right in front of your chest. They can be pressed together, the palms can be pressed together or they can be separate, whatever's better for you. Lengthen the lower back, bend your standing knee and use your toes to grip the mat, grip the mat. Slowly, bring your right leg around and behind you. Push your heel away. Try to balance. Keep looking to the front. Bend your standing leg. Lift the back leg. Or if it's too much, you can keep it a bit lower. And now quietly touch down way behind you. We will set up warrior two or archer's pose. Keep the hands up and in front of your chest. Bend your left knee. Keep the knee open. Lengthen your right knee. Your toes are pointing slightly diagonally. Lengthen your lower back. And now turn your belly button and your chest to the right, to the side. Keep the hands in front of you. Stay low. Hands flow out, palms up. Open your arms sideways. Turn them down. Keep the arms long. Spread your fingers. Look to your front hand. Bend your left knee a little more. Breathe into the belly. Keep the hips open sideways. Hold. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Now let's have a small flow. Turn your palms up, soften the fingers. And when you inhale, lengthen your knee and lift your arms up. Exhale, bend the knee again and open your arms. Inhale up. Exhale down, keep your lower back long. Come one more time up and down. Turn the palms down. Extend your body to the left, so to the front. Right arm comes over your head and the left can touch and rest on your thigh or optionally, you can try to grab your shin and your ankle. Have a long line all the way from your back toes, on the side of your leg, on the side of your core, and through your fingertips. Keep your top shoulder open, chest open. Now inhale, lift your chest, your arms up, stay low with the legs, and the left arm comes over your head into a side bend. 
open your rib cage. You want to create some space and length again. Spread your fingers and come flow back. Extend, rest on the thigh or grab the shin. Soften the belly. Inhale, roll up into the sun warrior, into the side bend. And one more time. Sideways, extend, open the chest, and fly back. Soften the face. And back to the beginning, to warrior two. Lengthen the arms. Bring the hands in to the front. Lift your back heel, lift your back leg. Rise up to standing and touch down. Lift your feet a few times. Stay in the front of your mat, but I'll turn for the demonstration. Other side. So lift your left leg up, hands in front of your chest. Lengthen the lower back. Bend your standing knee. Use your toes to grip the mat. Soften the belly. Slowly, open the left leg, bring it around and behind. Push the heel away, try to balance. Try to keep the hips open. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. And then touch quietly, quite far away. So have a wide stance between your feet. Bend your right knee. Lengthen the back knee. Lift your chest. Now turn the belly button and the chest all the way to the side, to the left. Keep the hips open. Inhale, hands out. Open sideways. Exhale, turn the palms down. Lengthen the arms, come a little deeper. Look to your right hand. The lower you are, the warmer you're gonna feel. But if you need a little easier option, just rise a bit higher, that's fine too. Right, let's do the flow. Palms up, inhale, lengthen your knee, reach up and exhale, flow down. Rise up again, breathe up, and exhale. Last time, rise and fall. Turn your palms down. Extend your chest to your right leg, to your front leg. Left arm comes over your head. The right can rest on your thigh. We're trying to find your shin and ankle. Stay low with the hips. Keep your back leg long, your top arm really long. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, and then come back. Stay low with your legs. Right arm over your head, into the side bend. Come a little deeper. Flow back to the extended position, thigh or ankle. And back up, Sun Warrior. Last time, inhale, exhale and land. Inhale, rise, exhale, land. Come back up, Warrior Two. A little deeper, hands in front of the chest. Lift your heel, lift your leg. Rise up to standing and touch down. Lift your feet a few times. Awesome. I'm changing again for the demonstration. And here, lift your right leg. Same apply, so bend your standing knee, lengthen your lower back, lift your chest. Now simply step back. 
by far behind and we're going to set up triangle pose. So keep your hands up, keep your hands and upper body active. Push your left toes to the front of the mat. The right toes are slightly diagonally pointing. Lengthen the lower back. Keep your knees long, but have a little room. Right arm reaches up. Left arm reaches down and bring your chest closer to your shin, closer to the floor. Make sure you keep your top shoulder open, spreading your fingers all the way up to the ceiling. Soften the belly and feel a nice side stretch on the right side of your core. You can stay here or maybe grab your shin with the lower hand and pull your chest upwards. Keep pushing the sitting bones down. Lengthen the lower back, reaching up with the top hand and let it go. Bend your front knee, bring your hands in, lift your heel, lift your leg, come up to standing and here three times come up to your toes. Try to make sure it's not only momentum that takes you up and gravity that brings you down but you control the movement. Nice. Other side. Come to the front. Lift your left leg. Bend your standing knee. Lengthen the lower back. Soften the belly. Soften your face. Breathe in through your nose. In and out through your nose. Step back and land for triangle. So quite a wide stance again. Right toes pointing forwards, left toes pointing sideways diagonally. Lower back long, knees long, core soft. Left arm reaches up and the right closer to the floor. Sink deeper, but keep your top shoulder up and open. Keep your elbow long. Breathe into the belly. Have the nice side bend and a nice stretch, comfortable stretch on the left side of your lower back. You can stay or using your right hand, grab your shin, and pull your chest up towards the ceiling. Soft breathing and let it go. Bend your front knee, lift your chest, hands in, lift the back heel, lift the back leg, stand up, try to stay on one foot, bend your knee and try the balance here three times. Up to your toes and touch. Inhale and rise. Exhale and touch. And come all the way down. Now come to the back of your mat and come down to your knees. Open the knees, point your toes together, sink your hips back, and then come to a child's pose. Lengthen the arms forwards, put the Forehead down to the floor or to your mat. Expand your belly when you breathe. In and out through your nose as the breathing goes. And then slowly come rise back up. Come onto your hands and knees. Easy pointers. Put your left arm and the right leg out into a long line. Lengthen the spine, lengthen the back of your neck, and then bring your elbow to your knee under your core. Round your back and lengthen out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, come get long. Exhale and inhale. 
just naturally through your nose. Tax down. Swap your leg and arm. Right arm, left leg. Try to balance. And then go elbow to knee. Exhale. Lengthen out. Inhale. You can do this in your own tempo. Keep pushing the palm, the one that's on the floor, down. And control the movement. Touch down. All right. Come sit down. Come to the front of your mat. Bring your right leg into your groin. And the left one in front, right on the mat, on top of your shin or up on the knee, wherever it's more comfortable, but make sure you're sitting on the sitting bones. Now inhale and roll your spine and the arms up. Twist your chest to the left side and bring the outer side of your right hand towards the opposite knee. And the left hand touches down behind you. Look over your shoulder, look to the back. It's a seated twist, spinal twist. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Lift the top of your head. One more breath. Turn the chest forward, arms up. And then gently side bend with the right hand above your head and the left touches down, opening your rib cage. Rest your lower shoulder down. Maybe come down to your forearm if that's okay for you. Breathe in through the nose and out through your nose. Come rise back up, put both hands down, open your legs and swap. Left leg in, right in front, on the shin or on your knee. Set your foundation, sit on your sitting bones. And when you're ready, roll up, inhale, twist your body to the right. Bring the outer side of your left hand towards your right knee. And the back arm lands down behind you. Look back, look over your shoulder. Soft breathing. Lengthen your spine. With the next in breath, we'll lift the arms up, turn the chest to the front, and find your side bend. This time, with the left arm over your head, and the right hand touches down, maybe on the forearm. Try to sit on both sitting bones. Turn your top shoulder up and open. Spread your fingers and gently come back up with your hands down. Last thing we'll do here, uncross your legs, roll down to your back. Push the hands out, palms up to the ceiling. Keep your knees bent and then gently lift your tailbone, your lower back your middle back off the ground into a bridge and maybe move your shoulder blades a little bit closer to your spinal column. Breathe into the belly. Soften the face. Soften the belly. One more breath. And quietly shoulder blades out and roll down through your spine, touching down. Lift your knees, 
simply hold them with the hands and rock yourself from side to side, massaging your lower back. Inhale through your nose, out through your nose. And with the next in breath, roll up, come to the front, cross your feet comfortably, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, hands out, sideways. Flex your wrists, round your back. Bring the hands in, back of your palms together, rising up, open to the side, and bring the hands and the elbows close. Turn them out. Repeat. Round your back. Now lengthen, lift up. Elbows in. Last time. Inhale and bring them back in front of you, rise and fall, exhale. Now here, if you want, put your palms close without touching each other, maybe even close your eyes and you can check. If you pull your palms against each other, do you feel any warmth, anything in between? If so, that's the prana, that's the energy that you generated during the practice. If you've had enough, put your palms all the way together, your thumbs to your chest. Lift your chest, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling relaxed, but I, hope, I also hope you felt a little bit of exercise that we did just now. If you have any questions, please send them over and I'll try to answer to as many as I can and have, have a very, very nice rest of the day.